Welcome back to the See You Morning Show. We're entering the 2023 NBA All-Star Weekend. And to know about, more about the All-Star Game, we are already connected with NBA analyst Ariel Darmawan. Good morning, Ariel. Yes, good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. Good, good to see you, man. The NBA All-Star Draft will be held directly ahead of the game, or some might call it the pre-game. How does, how does the All-Star Draft work, by the way? Yeah, there, there will be a, a slight change to the draft process um, this year, which, which should get the fans um, excited because um, usually uh, last year and before um, the draft went like three three weeks before the the, the game itself. But this time is this the, the the first time it gets implemented by the by Adam Silver. So the draft will uh, happen uh, on the same day as the as the All Star game itself. Uh, so right before tip off. Uh, both uh, team captains, in this case, team LeBron and team Giannis, hopefully um, Giannis can play, fingers crossed, uh, will select the, and draft the, the players. So it should, should be exciting. But the, the, I have to say this, uh, uh, we won't see uh, some of the big names like um, KD, um, Steph, um, Zion. Uh, they, they, they all won't play in the, in the game because of injuries, so, but hopefully the fans still still get excited to, to, to watch the game. I bet, I bet. There's a lot of, there are plenty of names that we want to see on the court uh, tomorrow morning in Indonesia times. But before that, let's check out the player's pool. Uh, let, let's see who's, who's actually going to make it on the list. So on the player pool, we have Stephen Curry, yeah. Luka Doncic, uh, Kevin Durant. So what is your prediction for Team LeBron and Team Yanis lineups? Yeah, um, uh, LeBron will will get to to pick first since he, he leads the the vote. So I think for the first pick, um, there's no staff, there's no KD. So I think um, LeBron uh, will pick Luka Doncic, and then um, Tim Yanis will pick um, Nikola Jokic. Oh man, that's my guess. All right, all right. And are there special rules or? <laughs> Or, should be fun. It should be fun. Yeah. Uh, are there special rules or formats for all the All Star game? Uh, yeah. I think the only the only difference with uh, the All Star game compared to a normal game, actually, the All Star game will play to a certain target score, which uh, this year will be the same like last year, at 24. So, for example, for the first three quarters, um, whoever lead at the end of the third quarter, for example, like the score is. 100 to 95 so we will play the game to 124 the first team who gets uh, uh, 124 first will will win the game uh, the first three quarters will be the same normal um, each team will uh, represent a certain foundation whoever wins the quarter will donate a certain amount of money to uh, the foundation Oh, now, can you explain to us uh, why it's on the fourth quarter? So why the number 24? Like, why are we looking for the, the, 20, uh, the, the 24 to, to win the, the game on the fourth quarter? Yeah, it's actually a tribute to um, Kobe Bryant. Because uh, Kobe wears uh, number 24 uh, for the last um, 10 years of his um, NBA career. So it's a, it's a tribute for, to Kobe. Right now, let's go. Let's talk about the head, co uh, head coach. Now, the Boston head coach uh, Joe mm -hmm. Mazzula will be in charge of the team. Yanis Mazzula is the first interim yeah. head coach to get the nod of at the All Star Game since Tai Lu in 2016. What's your take on this? Okay, so first, uh, there's no uh, interim head coach tag anymore <laughs> for Joe Mazzula because he was just assigned to be the permanent um, head coach. I think the Boston Celtics made the uh, announcement. I think. Uh, two days or yesterday. So congrats to Joe Mazzula. He's still 34 years of age. Uh, he's still very young. And I want, I just want the, the, the fans to really appreciate um, the, the, the quality of work that he has put uh, in the first five months uh, of being uh, the Boston Celtics head coach. I mean, um, with the Ime Udoka scandal, he's taking over a team, not just a regular team, but a team that just went to the um, NBA Finals. So it's, it's really, really tough to get the group together. And Boston Celtics is the only team in the NBA who's in the top five 
for both offense and defense. Number three in offense, number five in defense. So he's been doing a remarkable job and a well-deserving um, head coach for um, uh, Tim Yanis. It's a well-deserving right. position for him. Right, right. I'm, I'm looking forward like how he's gonna handle the team Yanis, and at the same time, so I, wa I wonder like how he's gonna handle the whole Celtics team to the final this year. Uh, yes. Moving on, let's get back to the predicting, man. Uh, who do you think is yeah. gonna be the Kobe Bryant MVP trophy this year? It's gonna be tough. <laughs> uh, no KD, no staff, okay. so I'm going to go with uh, Luka Doncic. Luka. I think all, from all the momentum. Um, since the FIBA World Cup and everything, I think Luca is uh, uh, Luca is going to win the the MVP. My prediction. All right, Luca, it is. Um, I, I'm 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 not, I have no objection on that one, man. Uh, and before before the game, we know um, tomorrow morning Indonesia time or Saturday night, um, there's going to be skill challenge, three point three point and slam dunk contest. Now, what's your prediction on this one? Who's uh, gonna be on this? Hear you very well. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hero, can you hear me? We, it looks like we still uh, we are having uh, di technical difficulty with Hero, but we're talking about the three-point contest. And if we look at the starting point right now, we have Jason Tatum uh, go going to face Kevin Herter's title hero, uh, Ty Tyrus Halliburton, and then Buddy Hilt, Damian Lillard, which is I think it's going to be my bet for this year's for the three points game uh, and for Nisa Simons and Laurie McCannon. And then if we can move on to the slam dunk contest, um, we have Jericho Sims, Mac, um, Mac McLean, Trey Murphy 3, Kenyon Martin Jr. Uh, Basiru, are you back with us? Yeah, I think so. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. So let's go back to the okay. three point, the three point, and slam dunk. What's your take on the on the three points competition? Okay, the 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 the, the favorite to win the three point contest should be between um, Damien Lillard or Buddy Hield. But I'm not going to pick the mainstream selection. <laughs> you want to do underdog? I'm going. I'm going. I'm, I'm always anti mainstream on the three point contest. So I pick. Uh, Kevin Herter from the Sacramento Kings to win the three-point contest. Um, and for the dunk contest, um, Kenyon Martin Jr. should be the, the favorite to win, but I'm going to go with uh, Mike McClung to, to win the dunk contest. Oh, interesting choice. Interesting choice, my friend. That's, that's, that's yeah. going to be interesting. How about, how about skill challenge? Do you see, um, I know uh, the Athletic Compost uh, brothers are going to play again, right? And they're going to face the home team with the, the Utah Jazz yeah, and yeah. the so, rookie. So there's, uh, yeah, so there's three teams uh, who's going to compete in the skills challenge. Team Athletic Compost, um, Team Utah Jazz, and Team Rookies. So I'm going to go <laughs> with the Team Rookies. Uh, oh. Paulo Banquero, um, Jaden. Jalen Ivey and uh, Jabari Smith Jr. I'm going to go with the rookies. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that's that's interesting, man. That's that's the game to watch. Well, <laughs> Errol, that's uh, yeah. thank you so much for being on the show. I'm looking forward for, for the games. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be something interesting. I look forward. This uh, this yeah. been interesting. It's been 20 years since they have it on at Utah. So this is gonna become a tribute too for the whole fans of NBA. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you for being here. Yeah, have fun, guys. All right, thank you. Well, we are going for a quick break and we'll return with a recap from the world of sports. <laughs> 